Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is uh, Friday, the 24th day of February. It's the final Friday of February, by the way. National Tortilla Chip Day. I do like tortilla chips. I do too. National Tartar Sauce Day. I had never had tartar sauce. I like tartar in sauce. In my entire life until about a year ago. And I accidentally had some tartar sauce, and I was like, hmm, that's not too bad. And then Heidi was amazed. She's like, you've never had tartar sauce? Oh, no, I knew you wouldn't eat tartar. I assumed you had at but least once, tasted it at one point in your no, life, I, but you I had just it. decided right away, I don't like tartar sauce. And then she's sauce. like, we need to go, and I need to get you something that you're going to try and you're going to love. And the it was good. McFil- the filet of fish. Yeah, at, I was like, oh, oh my It's always gosh. been a bit dry without the tartar sauce. Oh. Oh, uh, today is also Skip the Straw Day. That's going on today. And I've got a guest. Now, numerous times we've talked to Bo Duke on this program, John Schneider, but we've got Luke duke we've got nice. tom wopat joining us i'm excited to visit with him uh that's going to be coming your way here in just a bit thanks for listening to the john and heidi show do you ever get credit card offers in the mail those are usually the worst offers they spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address the people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run at bettercreditcards.com we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. More than 3 in 10, 35% of adults admit their parents help them at least with one bill. The survey of 2,000 Americans found the top 3 expenses that parents help grown-up kids with. 19% say rent, another 19% say groceries, 16% say utilities. The good news for moms and dads is that 70% of those respondents plan to take on these bills themselves over the next couple of years. On the other hand, 30% admit that they just keep on accepting the financial aid until they're told no. Half said they struggle to limit unex- unnecessary spending. They also face difficulty budgeting for unexpected expenses, 45%, and remembering to pay bills on time, 40%. So uh, do we help our kids? We with... help our kids with their cell phone bills. Do, oh, That's see, it. there we go. Yeah. Well, with Mint Mobile, it's not much. So. And with both kids, we paid their car insurance until they were 21, but then we said, now it's yours. Yeah, it's on your own. Yeah. All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know there's a device that creates energy from snowfall? It's an impressive thing that scientists have been able to harness energy from the sun and from the wind and from water, providing all kinds of alternative sources of power. Well, now they managed to create energy from snowfall. How crazy is that? Oh, yeah. According to a 2019 study... Uh, in the Journal of Nano Energy, engineers and chemists from the Nano University of Nano Energy, yeah, that's fun. I like to read that. Uh, engineers and chemists from the University of California, LA, UCLA, developed a device made of silicone that can harness and charge from static electricity. Snow is positively charged and gives up electrons, while silicon is negatively charged and accepts the electrons. So the snow lands on the silicone and charges are produced and captured. Think of it like a spark of energy you create when you rub a balloon against your hair. But they found a way to capture that, harness that, and make that into energy. Isn't that interesting? That is very interesting. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey is going to be the next Elvis. Thank you very much. I could see that. will voice the king in an upcoming cartoon by Netflix. I could see that. Priscilla Presley is the producer and co-creator, by the way. Uh, His Elvis will still be performed, as we all know and love him, but he's going to have a super secret side. He's also a spy. Agent Elvis is what it's called. Oh, how (laughs) fun. CBS is shaken up late night by bringing back an old Comedy Central format to replace the Late Late Show with James Corden, ending the Late Late Show franchise after about three decades. No official comment, but Deadline reports 
that a reboot of At Midnight, a series that ran for 600 episodes on Comedy Central from 2013 to 2017, has been chosen for that time slot. So, And Mila Kunitz trolled husband Aston Kutcher and his Your Place or Mine co-star Reese Witherspoon for their awkward red carpet pose. <laughs> Did you see that? I I thought it was actually Oh, yeah, cool. because he like had his hands in his pockets or well, something. And, and I love what he said. He said, if I had put my yeah. arm around her, we would have been having an affair. And the fact that I put my hands in my pockets, now we can't stand each other. He's like, there's no right. winning. But his wife went on to harass him quite a bit, which was pretty cool. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. One of the biggest knocks on electric vehicles, also known as EVs, is the length of time it takes to charge an electric vehicle. Unlike a quick five-minute stop to fill up with gasoline or diesel, an electric battery can be plugged into a regular outlet at home, and it takes like all night, and it still isn't fully charged for some of them. Right. But that might be about to change. A team from the University of California say they've come up with an electric car battery that would charge completely in one hour. It is a long technical explanation that I don't even understand, so I'm not going to get into it here. But researchers say their fast charging battery would be cheaper to produce and more powerful, allowing for vehicles to have smaller batteries. Because right now, some of these vehicles they're, like the battery space is huge right and it is more sustainable for the environment current evs or electric vehicles require raw materials that are already facing supply chain issues and are saying this doesn't require that okay. as well so i remember when i was a kid in uh, one of my science classes i don't remember which one but i don't know what grade third grade fifth grade probably maybe middle school high school i didn't pay attention much as a kid <laughs> But I remember we used a, a potato as a battery. Did you guys do that in your school? No. Did you, you, you never like made a potato into a battery? No. We, we made a potato into a battery, and then we used it to like light up a light bulb. Okay. And I remember thinking, how cool is that? So my plan is to just create a potato-powered car. <laughs> oh. I would... <laughs> No, not be you wouldn't be able to keep enough potatoes around. I would eat all the potatoes. <laughs> no, I think there's a lot of really cool things that they're working on. I love the fact that they're trying to come up with a better plan because I think we do have some big issues with the current situation. Of I the batteries. agree, it's a really bad so idea. I love right that somebody's now. working on that. Scoop yeah. of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Tom Wopat. He's got a new album out. It's called Simple Man. And I, I wouldn't say you're a simple man. You're a pretty complex man. You're a singer. You're an actor. You kind of do it all, don't you? I can't keep a job, John. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. No, I, I think, uh, you know, for me, I remember watching uh, Dukes of Hazard, and I, I saw you and, and, and John Schneider, and I just thought that's the coolest thing in the world. And you guys had, you know, such a great, great job that you had there. But both of you also very talented singers, and you've, you've gone your own way done your own thing and this is your 13th studio album is that right yeah i just can't get it right like i like i said <laughs> keep working at it this is one of my favorites this is a really really nice record and it, it's very eclectic it's got some jazz it's got some blues it's got some broadway stuff 
got a couple of original tunes on it from James Taylor, from Sean Colvin. A lot of really, really good songs. That is awesome. And and I'm going to throw a link so folks can click very easily and find this and get it and listen to it. And uh, again, I think it's funny. It's called Simple Man because, like I said, you're very complex. In addition to singing, uh, songwriter, uh, actor on television, like I said, Dukes of Hazard, uh, actor in movies. Uh, you've, you've even done some like Django Unchained and then also a Broadway star. So you is there anything you haven't done yet, Tom? Well, a few things. <laughs> I've been lucky. And, uh, you know, I tell people I've sung at Carnegie Hall, I've sung in the Grand Old Opry, and I've sung at Lambeau Field. So that kind of covers it. Now, is there something that's on your bucket list where you're going, man, I really would like to, to do this? You know, I would still, if somebody asked me out of the blue to direct a film, I would love to do that again. I, I directed several episodes of Deuce, but, um, you know, that's a, that's a little bit of a stretch. I haven't directed in years. I would love to. If you have a good director of photography, you have a good cinematographer and a good first AD, the job is already done for you, basically. That's awesome. Well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. I hope you get that opportunity. That would be really, really cool. It would be a lot of fun. The more I make records, the more it is I'm, I'm becoming a producer. So I, I would be interested in producing somebody else. That would be fun, too. And this this new album that you put out, it's the 13th album, and uh, there's 13 tracks. That, 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 to some people, is an unlucky number. It must not be an unlucky number for you. Not at all. We were blessed in the, in the different types of genres that we were able to work with. Uh, we got some blues on there. We have some jazz. We have some Broadway kind of stuff. And... and did a couple of James Taylor tunes. And it it was just was an awful lot of fun. I worked with my friends. I worked with guys that I've worked with now for going on, you know, 25 years. They're all very good friends, and, and we had a blast. It's a, it's a lot of fun working like that. And how has the industry changed from when you started? Because back in the day, if you wanted to have a song that got out there, it had to had to make it on the radio, and it had to you know go through this huge process. Now you can literally produce things yourself and put it out through the internet. And is that better for the industry, or does that make it better or worse? Do you think? I, I don't know. I would like to think that it gives more opportunity to people with less um, access. I mean, when I started out. You know, the record companies really ran everything Yeah, in the 80s, early 80s. And now they don't. I mean, record companies are almost extraneous. They're almost, they're unnecessary. I mean, you'll have a 14-year-old girl who will write a song and play it on her acoustic guitar in bed and do a little video of it. And then two weeks later, she's got 5 million views. Yeah. And so it's a whole different ballgame. In my situation, I kind of... It's kind of a mix. I mean, I don't, I don't work with a with a record company anymore. I am my record company, and that gives me a lot of latitude to do whatever I want as far as, as songs go. I love that. And it, I think in this case, it turned into a record that has a real unity to it, but is still eclectic as far as the material. Well, I'm, I'm excited to take a look at this a little deeper here. Again, 13 different tracks. I'll throw a link to it. And if folks want to see you, I'm looking at your appearances. You're a busy guy. you got a lot of stuff coming up this year. And I'll throw a link to that as well so folks can get out and see you in person. Well, they also got to check out the County Line movie. I did one back five, six years ago for INSP. And, and then uh, a couple of years ago, they asked me if I wanted to make two sequels. So we did County Line All In and County Line No Fear. Nice. This is coming out right as we speak. That is awesome. Tom, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it, sir. You're welcome, brother. Again, Tom Wopat, the new album, Simple Man. It's available now. I'm going to throw a link to make it really easy to find. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back, or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Gatorade was invented at the University of Florida. They named it after the mascot of the school, oh. the Gators. University receives 20% of the profits from the beverage yeah, to this day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Tuition should be free there. It should be. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Volleyball and basketball were both invented in Massachusetts. 
Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? This is crazy. The heaviest onion ever grown was 18 pounds, and it was grown in England. That's a toddler-sized onion. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a big old onion. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Contrary to what you might think, Canada actually eats more macaroni and cheese than any other place. Belgium, by the way, eats the most fries, and Germany eats the most bread. So that's kind of a weird, because you'd think other things in all those places. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The famous Sesame Street character Cookie Monster has a name. Do you know what it is? I don't. Sid. S-I-D. Oh, yes, I did too. Sid. I did know there that. There you go. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! 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 Brought to you by Mintervention.com. <laughs> I actually had somebody ask me, why do you guys do that? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know It either. just started and I kind of feel like maybe you it should You started stop. doing it and then I you were like why. all yelling at me because I, I wouldn't like, do it. Well, so I was now trying I have to, get, to do it. I was trying to get you to do it and you wouldn't do it. And I'm trying to get you to do it on your own so I don't have to take part in this nonsense. <laughs> All right, question, Heidi. What do 70% of people in the modern world do with their hair? 70%. You're one of these people. Pull it back. No, dye their hair. Oh. Yeah, 70% of people in the modern world dye their hair. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at Better creditcards.com give yourself a little credit bettercreditcards.com now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com uh, took over a year but a british man became the first ever to recreate forrest gump's fictitious run across america from his 1994 movie and he did it in full forest costume as well and now he's written a book about it <laughs> He tells how in 2016, the then 38-year-old, same age as Tom Hanks was when he portrayed Forrest Gump's character, began his journey, which would take him through 43 states over 422 days as he crisscrossed across the country four times, covering a total of 15,621 miles. Went through 33 pairs of running shoes doing it. The experienced marathoner encountered blistering heat, torturous rain, relentless snowfall, raising money for a couple charities along the way. He worked with the Boston Marathon. Uh, He put that in the itinerary. Came across across a moose, a bear, some dolphins, suffered a torn quadricep muscle, and at one point paused to fly home for the birth of his daughter. Wow, what a guy. Yeah. He quit running to be home to watch his daughter be born. <laughs> that was nice. The story goes on, by the way, if you want to read all Gosh. about it. Becoming Forest, One Man's Epic Run Across America. The book is out now. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time now for The List, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. We're continuing this from yesterday. We're talking about the most surprising Grammy wins from over the years. We had several yesterday, including right. ex-presidents and uh, people like, uh, I'm trying to think of who else we had. Betty White was on the list yesterday. Right. So today we say, uh, like this one, the late co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, he had a Grammy. So bizarre. Honorary Grammy is what the that okay. was for him. And one of the most surprising on the list, Alvin and the Chipmunks, the singing <laughs> rodents, have not one, not two, not three, not four. They have six Grammys. What? Six Grammys for Alvin and the Chipmunks. And Heidi's favorite on the list, the Muppets. They've scored oh. a handful of Grammys over the years, winning the very first one was Best Recording for Children from The Muppet Show in 1978. And then they've gone on to win more and more and well, more. Well, and the, more. those, though, don't... Make sense. Yeah, because they're written and yeah. performed and... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there were several on this list. And uh, this continued from yesterday, so we've got some in the show notes from yesterday as well. But you can see the list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.
If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Zsa Gabor. Zsa said, A man in love is incomplete until he has married. Then he's finished. (laughs) 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 That actually came out kind of funny, didn't it? All right, I've got the quote of the day. It's in the show notes, uh, and it is courtesy of our friends at insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. There is a giveaway between now and the end of next month, the end of March, for an event called The Sands in Cancun, Mexico. Again, the details can be found at radiotravelgroup.com. You've heard of Michael Jordan, right? Yes. So Michael Jordan is maybe known for basketball, for shoes, but here's another thing he can be known for now. On his 60th birthday, Michael Jordan made the largest donation in Make-A-Wish history. Oh. Yeah. $10 million donation to an amazing organization, Make-A-Wish, the largest donation they have ever received from an individual. Jordan hopes that his decision to celebrate his birthday with a donation to Make-A-Wish would inspire others to fulfill the wishes of kids still waiting for their wishes to come true. For the last 34 years, it's been an honor to partner with Make-A-Wish, he said, to help bring smiles and happiness to so many kids. Witnessing their strength and resilience during such a tough yeah, time in their lives sure. has been oh my truly gosh. inspirational. Uh, Michael Jordan has granted hundreds of wishes to children all over the world and remains one of the most requested celebrity wish granters, by the way. He was named Make-A-Wish Chief Wish Ambassador in 2008 for what the organization called life-changing impacts that he's had on Wish kids and their families. He said, I can't think of a better birthday gift than seeing others join me in supporting Make-A-Wish so that every child can experience the magic of having their wish come true. I think that is so cool. I absolutely hate that an organization like that even needs to exist. It does. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's, it's I a, love it's that a great organization. Th- what they do. They do such an amazing thing. And I understand what you mean. The way you said it might not have been the best. No, but, I yeah, hate that but, it has to exist. I, yeah, I it's sad wish that there's even a need it wasn't, for that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I love the fact that Michael Jordan stepped up. And, and I, I hope this inspires other people to go, you know what? I'm going to outdo Jordan. You know, he's the greatest of all time. I'm going to be the greatest of all time. I'm right. going to give $11 million. <laughs> So right. I would love to say I could do that, but I couldn't even give $11. So <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have the same bank account. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. You can uh, read all about this and many other things in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.